Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's February 19th, 2014, and here are our top stories. Tonight, Ukraine riots heat up after the rioters seize over 1,500 guns. And another case of cops tasering a deaf man who's having a diabetic attack. Then, David Knight sits down with Wolfgang Halbig on the discrepancies at the Sandy Hook shooting. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Our top story tonight, rioters seize over 1,500 guns in Ukraine mayhem. Ukraine Security Service has announced it's launching a counter-terror operation. Radicals have seized over 1,500 firing arms and 100,000 bullets in the past 24 hours, the Security Service says. Now, these 100,000 bullets is nothing compared to what they're stocking up domestically for the DHS. But back to the matter at hand, these arms are being seized from military depots and other places as well. Now, of course, this is the situation in Kiev where rioters, protesters, whatever they're being called this week, have been clashing with police. There have been buildings burned down, fires in the street, complete mayhem. And I do uh, definitely have a lot of respect for the Kiev police, at least as far as they're handling the situation with non-lethal force. We've seen many rioters using lethal force against the police, using weapons with live ammunition, also using the fiery cocktails and so forth. So I definitely respect the restraint of the Kiev police because here in the States, it wouldn't have got this far without the police coming back with lethal force because we live in a country where if you break up a fight, you'll get tased by the police. But if, if you're having a seizure, you'll get tased by the police. If you're peacefully protesting outside of a college, you'll get pepper sprayed in the face. If, uh, if somebody else robs a bank and you show up and you run from the cops, they'll shoot you in the back, even though you didn't match the description of the guy who robbed the bank. That's the kind of country that we live in here in the States. But at least respect the police. You know, I'm not agreeing with the whole situation in Kiev on either side or on multiple sides, but you know, I definitely respect that the police are not killing their own citizens in the streets. Now, more on the Kiev situation, we have this article from Kurt Nimmo. Bush-era diplomat says Ukraine's situation is a threat to national security. We can see this all over the world, American influence slipping, slipping away in Ukraine, in Venezuela, in the Middle East, and we will pay the price of this for a long time unless people speak up. Now, that was former United Nations Ambassador John Bolton. And as Kurt Nemo points out in the article, Bolton failed to explain how the civil strife in Ukraine and Venezuela adversely affect the national security of the United States. He insisted that it's the responsibility of the U.S. to respond when selectively chosen friends of the United States, in effect, friends of liberty, find themselves on the barricades. And that's exactly right, because we see in selective enforcement, selective help, because you think about recently or more recently with the Coney 2012 situation where many people said that Coney was already dead or at least missing. These are people from Uganda before 2012. And it definitely is a horrible thing that they have the children out killing each other, you know, out there in Uganda. But, you know, people got involved in that because of the resources of Uganda, not just because they're so human humanitarian and just good go getting people. So we'll talk more about this. Alex Jones is going to break down not the Coney 2012 situation, but the situation in Kiev where we have the riots in the streets, the protesters, the rioters fighting with police. So he's going to give us a breakdown that he gave on the Alex Jones radio show. <laughs> the collapsed former Soviet attempted world order. And you have the George Soros CIA globalist funded groups, many of which have real beefs with the government, absolutely going wild, absolutely attacking and shooting police. They've stolen thousands of, quote, firearms from the military and police calling for the country to join the EU. They're mad that the government a few months ago, and there was also a vote uh, in their parliament, did not enter the EU. Listen, I don't want them to join Russia or the EU. How about we have sovereign countries again that aren't dominated by corrupt kleptocratic empires? The bottom line here is just like the Syria civil war, it is the West quarterbacking and running this entire operation. Justice group warns of Obama's plan to put government monitors in newsrooms. This is why Paul Joseph Watson, FCC Commissioner Ajit Pai, recently lifted the lid on a shocking White House proposal entitled Multi-Market Study of Critical Information Needs that would dispatch researchers from the federal agency to, quote, grill reporters, editors, and station owners about how they decide which stories to run. According to Pai, the program is about, quote, pressuring media organizations into covering certain stories. In other words, the fairness doctrine on steroids. 
That's exactly right. They want to tell you which stories you can run, and not only which stories you can run, but how to cover them, like we saw in the Boston bombing coverage. You remember Dan Bedondi showed up to the press conferences. Hey, you know, I got these pictures of these guys I think are pretty suspicious. The FBI says, no, 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 pay no attention to that. Only look at these guys over here. Look at nothing else. Don't look at anything but these pictures right here. Don't go to Infowars.com. Don't go anyplace else. Just look at this. And that's the same thing that's going to happen in these new newsrooms. It's already happening because this is government controlled media. They want to control your media so they can put out whatever talking points they want. But you say, but some people criticize Obama. Yeah, they do, because you have the controlled left and you have the controlled right. And, and I'm saying some of these people may actually believe the, uh, the propaganda that they put out, but that doesn't mean that it's true because they have people on both sides that they like to play off against each other. But every now and then you have somebody who truly comes out to criticize people like Jay Leno. You remember he recently departed from The Tonight Show. There's much speculation that he left his career essentially because he criticized Obama. Now we have another late night guy coming out talking about the Fuhrer, Obama. Jimmy Kimmel, he came out and asked his audience, not even so much criticizing Obama, just asking the simple question, has anybody ever been able to sign up for Obamacare? I'm curious, how many of you in our audience actually signed up for Obamacare? <laughs> so going from Obamacare that you're not supposed to talk about to another topic, school shootings, or at least when you question the official narrative. Now, Don Salazar has this article, School Shooting Expert Threatened Over Sandy Hook Investigation. This is Wolfgang Halbig, and he said, quote, I think it's a scripted event that took place. Now, this is when referring to the Sandy Hook shooting. Now, I have many questions about the Sandy Hook shooting, for example, where's the surveillance footage? You know, you don't have to show me the kids getting shot, but I want to see Lanza walking into the school. Also, why are there vehicles or maybe not vehicles? The story keeps changing with rifles in the parking lot. Why is there a guy from the neighboring precinct already in the woods? There's no way he could have responded that fast. Just basic questions. So David Knight's going to be talking to Mr. Halbig at the end of the show, and you definitely do not want to miss that. So stay tuned because we have more special reports, more things lined up. But first, if you like this broadcast and you would like to see it continue, consider becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. You can get a free trial. You can see the Alex Jones Show, the Nightly News, the Rants, and so much more. And you ask, well, what happens when that trial runs out? After that, $5.95 a month. It's a great way to share this information with your friends and your family. You can have 11 people logged in simultaneously. So you can guys I can all watch these shows together. You'll likely not have that many people logged in at the same time. Give it to a bunch of people. And if that fills up another $5.95, it's not that much. You can do that, and you can support the broadcast at the same time. So stay tuned after this break for more special reports. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com.
It seems like every week we have a new taser story, and this week is no exception. I'm not happy about that, but that's just the way things are. Cops taser deaf man having diabetic shock. This is a situation where police arrived to, quote, assist a man who was having a roadside situation. Uh, when an officer arrived, he said that he immediately understood that the gentleman was deaf and that he was having a, a diabetic attack. But instead of calling an ambulance, he called for backup. And when the backup arrived, they saw that the man was not being compliant with their wishes, so they tased him. And we've seen this many times. We've seen people being tased for having seizures, people being tased for breaking up fights, people who just get tased because they don't want to listen to an officer's unconstitutional demands. We definitely have to end this way of thinking in the United States because many people end up horribly injured, uh, including the, uh, the example I gave of a young man who was tased here in the Austin area for breaking up a fight. And then the police tried to back it up saying that, yeah, he deserved to be tased because he was interfering with their investigation or whatever their lame excuse was. Good news and bad news on recording police. Now, for anybody who doesn't have experience doing this, you can record the police. They're public servants. They go out there and perform a public function. Function. So as long as you're not impeding their progress, you can film them. But oftentimes, they'll go out of their way to come and impede you. They'll come across the street to where you are, or, you know, if you're in some safe location. Why are you filming? I'm like, sir, I'm just filming that. That's my friend you're talking to. Or maybe you're just a good citizen. I'm, I'm concerned about this man's or this woman's well-being. Well, we have this situation of this young lady, and she came in contact with a Broward County Sheriff's De Deputy, William O'Brien, and he violated Brandy Burning's rights several times during the recorded traffic stop. The first instance was when he told her that she was committing a felony by recording him, and he demanded that she turn over her phone. Once again, you do not have to turn over your recording device, especially if you're not impeding the progress in any way, shape, or form, but you do have to be uh, alert that you may encounter some crooked cops who want to confiscate your materials or try to hit you with some bogus charge. Even though in the city of Austin, they record you. They got 40 cameras downtown recording everything you do. They have secret cameras now, hidden cameras now. And the Austin police chief told me to my face that he wants you to be in a sense of, I guess, anxiety, uh, thinking that the police could pop out of any bush and come and bust you doing whatever you're doing. And our last story for the night. New Jersey police chief speaks out against town hall, excuse me, town council corruption and gets relieved of his duties. This is the gentleman. He says no one owns the position of the chief. It's not for sale. And this was the acting Bloomfield police chief, James Bear, the 27 year New Jersey police veteran was speaking at the town council meeting discussing the political corruption he was urged to take part in. And after he spoke out about it, less than 48 hours later, he was relieved of his duties. So these are the type of people we need to see, people like uh, Mr. Bayer here who will go out there and fight for your rights, people like Nick Finch, people like Sheriff Mack who go out there and fight for your rights. So my uh, love and support and prayers go out to Mr. Bayer, and we'd love to have you on the show, Mr. Bayer, if you're out there watching. So I want everybody to stay tuned because after this break, David Knight will be talking to Wolfgang Halbig about the Sandy Hook shooting, and he thinks it's staged, and we'll see what he has to say. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com We're on the march, the empire's on the run, and the InfoWars army is standing strong.